Hey, what is up YouTubers? It's Cody Karkman here from the YouTube channel Cody Knows and in this video I'm going to do an in-depth tutorial on how to set a schedule for your Bing Ads campaign. So in order to get to the place where you can set your schedule, just log into your Bing Ads account, um, click on your campaign and then simply uh, go to the settings tab, click on add schedule and here is where you can add your ad schedule. But before I go into that, uh, let me just adjust this real quick. Um, before we get into that, I'm going to go over two reasons why you might want to um, use the Bing Ads ad scheduling option. So the first reason why is because um, some offers that you promote, especially lead gen offers, um, they have a time range where they only accept leads between a certain period of time. Um, let me just finish writing that out. And I inserted a screenshot of one of the offers um, that I have been promoting uh, right here. So these were the requirements of the offer that I was promoting uh, recently. And as you can see, countries, US only, restrictions, no GI mailers, no co-reg, no incent. Um, but perhaps the most important part is right here, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So some offers, a lot of offers don't have um, this type of time range, but some offers, they do only allow leads to be submitted within a time range. So that would be the first reason to use a Bing Ads ad scheduling option. And the second option, um, sometimes if you're running a campaign for a while and you start to get um, a lot of data coming in, especially if you're using a tracker like volume, you can see what time ranges are the most profitable. And I'm gonna give you an inside look at what that would look like. So I am inside one of my uh, volume campaigns right now. This is a Bing Ads campaign that I'm tracking with volume. And as you can see, today is uh, Tuesday um, and the conversions, four conversions so far today. But if I go, let's say the last seven days, now I have a whole bunch of data on what days uh, converted the best, what days only got one sale, what days got the most, um, what days have the best earnings per visit, uh, the best earnings per click, etc. So the longer you run your campaigns, the more data you can get and then the more informed your decisions can be when setting your ad schedule. So I've been running this campaign all throughout uh, 2020 so I can even go to this year and this year I've done 10,500 in revenue with this campaign. So I can have it sorted by conversions. So it looks like Saturdays are the best day of the week. I can have my ad schedule increase my bid on Saturdays. Um, another thing I like to sort by is earnings per visit. So the highest earnings per visit is again Saturday. So that's very interesting. Um, Monday is next up. And then Friday is my worst earnings per visit. So then I can set another ad schedule to decrease my bid on Fridays for this campaign because my earnings per visit is half as profitable as it is on Saturday. So interesting stuff. The more data you get, obviously, the more informed you'll be. And so that is the second reason. Um, if you have the data, you can see uh, which ones are more profitable. Ooh, sorry for my handwriting. Um, so that's that and now I'll go into showing you actually how to do the ad schedule. So, oh, one more thing that I wanna do is hour of the day. So this year, the most profitable hour of the day in terms of earnings per visit is from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. So that's very interesting stuff and then we can go down to the bottom and see all these times right here haven't had any conversions, so that'd be something to consider too. So this is 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 4 a.m., and then what is that, like 11, no, 10 and 11. So very early in the morning and very late at night, I'm getting clicks, but I'm not getting conversions. 
So that's something to consider as well. So I just wanted to throw that in there. So this is um, where you do it. I already covered this. Settings, add schedule. And let's say, remember in my campaign, Fridays were not that profitable. So I can set an ad schedule for Friday, um, start time and end time. I'm just going to leave it throughout the day. I can decrease my bid by 50% and then save. So there's my first ad schedule and that's decreasing my bid on Friday, my least profitable day for uh, this campaign. Well, this is just a test campaign. It's not the actual campaign. But um, another thing that I could do is do all days. So you remember in here, um, day of the week for this year, Saturdays are the highest earnings per visit. I can simply come over here and add another. Oh, crap. Um, I'm going to go Saturday, start and end time. I'm going to leave it. And you can also um, have it sorted like this as well. But I'm, I like doing it the 24 hour way. Um, I can increase my bid by let's say 50%. So that will give me the best positioning possible. It'll increase my bid by 50% and then I'll rank higher for keywords because Saturdays are the days where my campaign has been doing really good. So that'd be something to consider. And then when we went over the hour of the day um, how 11 at night or like 10 at night to like four in the morning, I was getting a bunch of clicks, but no conversions. This is something that we could do for that. So we could do all days start time. Let's go 22. Okay. I can't do it that way. So I can go from, so this is like midnight right here and end time four in the morning. I can decrease the bid by 90%. So then I won't be wasting my budget on the 12 a.m., 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m. clicks that I've been getting throughout the year with no conversions. So I could save that. But then I'd also want to come in and go like this. Oops. So I could add another one um, all days and then get that. Um, okay, so that'd be 11 to 12. I could go from 22 to 24. I could also decrease by 90. Save. So then you can see this is how it'll start to look once you start to uh, zone in on your most profitable times. So I hope you got a good understanding of how you can set up your ad schedule with Bing Ads to have your ads being shown during the most profitable time ranges that you've, uh, you've discovered throughout collecting data. So that is it for this video. If you are not subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, smack that subscribe button and that notification bell to stay up to date with all my future videos. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.